I'll be back, woman. Okay. I will. Whew. Man, it is hot in here, dude. six like three days ago but we won't talk about that so what's going on guys it's your boy logan some of you may know me as wing nut and i'm coming at you with another youtube video man um so it's been a little bit since I uploaded the being poor in 2024 video and uh, I've uploaded a couple videos since then but I wanted to kind of cover a little bit more going into that video on my trip to the gas station to go get some coffee and um, one key factor that obviously I left out of the video for the simple fact that I was venting in the video um, and I was just kind of like getting things off my mind because like we all need to do sometimes we just need to get some things off of our chest and you know it is what it is but man I am happy man you know I am very very fortunate and grateful to begin with my predicaments that I put myself into are because of me you know and uh I gotta put these windows up man it is hot I don't mind the hot but sometimes I like a little bit of some AC you know what I'm saying but like I'm getting at uh, I am happy man you know, and I know there's a lot of things that's, how would you say, could make anybody, including myself, be down in the dumps per se. Um, you know, it could kill their motivation, kill their drive. You know, they just give up and just, you know, look at everything and just say, well, I give up. But I'm not going to lie, man. Um, I'm gonna try to put you guys like right here so I don't have to keep fucking holding it. But uh, you guys are like on my steering wheel, it's actually kind of funny. But uh, dude, I am so happy these days, man. Like, take, take everything away from what I said in the, in the, in the previous video, um, being poor in 2024 take all the negative aspects out of that right for a moment and let me just shed this on you right you got to be happy these days man there is so much negativity going on in this world you can't say what you want to say or feel how you want to feel without somebody getting offended and somebody just taking it the wrong way per se um you can't really be you anymore these days um and with that being said nowadays everything is just totally different people are killing one another people are getting robbed you know i mean shit is almost as crazy as when people never heard and then apparently rediscovered the popeye's chicken sandwich and people are getting stabbed in line people are dying over a chicken sandwich man like dude come on bro we we all as a society are better than that you know and regardless with everything in politics that's happening right now trump almost getting assassinated 
Biden stepping away from the electoral um, primary elections or whatever the hell. He's not going to run again. They're trying to replace him with Kamala Harris. Um, you know, aside from everything going on with that, you got to be happy, man. You know, I know everything is through the roof expensive. I know things aren't going the way that we want, you know, jobs aren't paying good. A lot of jobs are hiring, but they're looking for experience. They're not looking to take in newcomers to teach everything and everything underneath of the sun for that specific job. And uh, there's a lot more to it, man. You can't live above your means with anything, whether you're very wealthy, whether you're not wealthy, whether things are in your favor or not, it is not a very smart thing to live above your means. And what I mean by that is you need to realize your place in this world like when I say that. And what I mean by that is, dude, you just, you just have to be happy, man, with everything. I have a home. I have a vehicle. I have a job. Like, yes, things don't go my way all the time like I would want them to. But am I just going to say fuck it on everything and just not go about what I'm supposed to be doing in life? Taking care of my son, taking care of me, taking care of Amber. I mean, like, just, just being me and being happy, man. Like, dude, my son is four years old and he's got autism. He's been learning American Sign Language. He can talk. He was nonverbal. He is talking a lot more. He can work his tablet amazingly. He loves watching everything that comes on TV, whether it's a movie, a TV show, a commercial, me streaming my video games. He loves going on walks. He loves throwing rocks. I'm teaching him how to skip rocks right now. He loves going out in the woods, playing on his trampoline. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, I got him a scooter. He loves playing on his scooter, riding it around. He loves riding his bicycle. Like, dude, I'm trying to tell you what. I couldn't be any more thankful for life, man. And then by the grace of God, him gifting me a life of my own to pass on. You know what I mean? And, uh... It's just, it's just phenomenal. I mean, it, it is honestly just phenomenal. Now, give me one second while I run inside because it is hot as fuck out here. Oh, my God. It is fucking hot, man. By the way, this is not a paid ad or anything in that sense, but uh, these things are amazing, okay? That's all I'm going to say is that they are phenomenal, amazing. Not a big fan of the Mean Bean or the... Uh, Damn, what's the other one? The caramel. Um, not a big fan of those, but the loca mocha one. Oh my god, amazing, absolutely amazing. And yes, you are supposed to shake it. It says shake gently, but you know we don't do that. Okay, back to what I was saying, man. So, dude, I know from that last video. It may seem like I'm a miserable little shit that isn't thankful for anything in life. To some of you, I may look like a degenerate that just sits around and doesn't really look at life as something so serious as to what we need to. But uh, I promise you I'm not like your average 25-year-old nowadays, man. Okay? I like my video games. I like hanging out at home. I like staying inside, yes, but I'm very productive. I work hard. I go to work every day. I don't give up with things. And I take care of my family, man, you know? But in the process of all of that, dude, I am literally so happy. I mean, like, I can't even stress that enough for the simple fact that, you know, there's a lot of things that you have to look at. In my view, I have both of my parents alive, okay? I have a younger brother. I have step-siblings. They're all doing very well. 
they're all doing amazing. And another thing is, is that, oh, my son, like I was saying, goes to school. He's in a program learning sign language. I mean, it's like day and night from seven, eight months ago when we got him into the IEP program in the county. And it, it's, it has been phenomenal for him, man. I'm so proud of him. And I'm proud of Amber for sticking through. And, you know, for people that don't have an autistic child, um, having a child in general, it, it, it is one of the most hardest jobs to do um, is be a parent. And I'm not discrediting anybody or giving extra credit to anybody. But those of you that have an autistic child and are a autistic parent, you can relate to me full on. Um, there, there's, there's nothing, nothing in between that. You know, you know how it goes. And my son luckily is not as bad off as you would say, as some, some parents, children, um, which I'm also very thankful for. But the main thing is, is that my main key points in life, man, is family and living life to its fullest, man. I may not go on an extravagant trip to the Bahamas or Jamaica, the Netherlands or wherever the hell some people may go or you see people or you know people that go places. But I have my places I like to go to. I like to go to Ocean City. We own a little bit of property in West Virginia. I like going to West Virginia, man. Like being out in the woods, mudding it up on my jacked up golf cart is amazing. Shooting guns in my backyard is amazing. Like, dude, you have to take what you have and look at it in the grander scheme of things. I know my video of being poor in 2024 was just an outlook of me in anger and not so much despair, but more or less of me getting things off of my mind and off of my chest that I just complain all the time about. And it feels good when you can sit there and actually talk about it. And I mean, yeah, I'm talking into the camera, but I'm here by myself. And sometimes it feels good to do that, man, to hear your own voice, to hear your own opinion, to sit there and listen to yourself as if you're in like some fourth dimension and, and you're pulling a Deadpool card and you're like breaking through the fucking camera and you're like, hey, I know that I'm just a cartoon. You know what I mean type thing? But anyway, I'm getting a little sidetracked with that. Be happy, man. Be happy. Be happy, dude. I've done nothing but streamed at a very small level and done YouTube at a very small level for a long time. I really didn't get serious with things until 2017, 2018. I made this YouTube channel in 2018, man. Like, you know, I, I, I am growing up. I was born in 1999. I've, I've grown up with the technological advances that we've had in the last 20 years. So I'm not an IT wizard, but I'm technically inclined with things. Social media and everything has been in my entire life. And I'm not going to lie, things haven't been growing for me in, in certain aspects and so on and so forth. But with that being said, you have to look at it as, well, I work full time. I was in high school and I was, I was doing things. I was a party goer. I wasn't the greatest kid in high school. Um, but my thing is, is that when my son came around, I changed my life, man. I changed for the better and I became happy, man. You know, I come from a broken family. I have great relationships now with my family. And I mean now as in like the last five years of my life, five, six years of my life. And, uh, you have to look at everything you have as a whole. And you just have to be grateful for what you have, man. I have a car. I have a home. I have a girlfriend. Soon to be wife. I have a child with her. I have a job. 
I have video games to play. I have people to reach out to online, like you watching this video. Whether it be that you just discovered me out of nowhere or I was in a suggested video. I mean, who the hell knows, man? You're here now, you're watching it, you're listening to me, and that's the most important thing in my opinion. If I can even shed a little bit of some light on anybody or anything out there, I would do that because that's just what I like to do, man. Um, I'm not somebody that goes out of their way to make somebody else's day on a regular basis, but I'm a real dude, man. You know, I work hard and I like being rewarded for what I work, work towards. You know what I mean? I take my vacations I enjoy my family time, and I do enjoy working, man. I was literally just building a shelf. I mean, I, I, I mean, I kind of wiped all the dust off. I'm not really super dusty because building a shelf really isn't all that, unless you're some crazy dude that's overkilling it. But uh, yeah, dude. I mean, I had a pallet. I took I took apart the pallet and just made a shelf out of it, man. Um, it's great, you know. Be happy. I'm off this weekend. I'm not working. I have no overtime to work this weekend. Thank God. And, uh, you know, I would be working it if, if I didn't have anything else better to do as in what I want to do. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah, man, it's just, I'm happy. And I'm sorry that I didn't really stress that enough in the first video um, that I did, but I just want to make that very clear that I am thankful. I am grateful and I am happy, man. Generally happy. Does stuff happen to me on a regular basis to where I'm mad and, you know, I I'll sit there and throw my fist up in the air and just be like, why God, why? And, you know, and of course I do that. That's anybody, you know what I'm saying? Do things not go my way all the time? That is 100%. Um, but that doesn't discourage me. That doesn't kill me. That doesn't, I'm not losing sleep over it. Like you have to realize that, you know, everything could be worse no matter what way you look at it, you know? So that was just my little two cents. Uh, I just wanted to throw that out there because, you know, I uploaded that video, uh, like a week ago or so. And, um, I've had a lot of, of people commenting sympathy and, and other things. Um, I, I, I really appreciate all of you guys. My real intentions with that video was not to get sympathy, um, or people to even feel bad for me in that sense. It was literally just me venting into the camera because I just wanted to vent. I mean, really, that's, that's really it. Um, but I appreciate all the amazing and nice motivational comments that you guys left, all the solid advice that I got on there. Um, and I'm not going to lie to you. For those of you that don't like the earrings, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care, man. Um, anything that goes goes for that, I love trolling people on the internet. So if, if the trolls come in the comments, dude, it's all it's going to be is just back and forth because I have nothing else better to do but look at all of these comments and give some of them my, my, my personal opinion on it, or, or just, you know, entertain the fact of, you know, pissing them off even more because they think that they're going to get underneath of my skin because I'm ugly. My teeth are crooked and I have giant holes in my ears and they think I haven't known that for the last 15 years, but I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what to tell those kinds of people that try to get underneath of your skin. Um, it's funny to me. But, uh, sorry, my phone, like, overheated, so I had to come in here and, uh, finish this off. But, dude, be happy, okay? Don't let things discourage you. The world is a mess right now. It is what it is. We can't do anything about it. You know what I'm saying? But don't lose your courage. Stay motivated, and I'll see you later.